hi y'all welcome back to my youtube channel my name is marie i'm gonna try to talk loud because today as you can see we are as you can see we are out in nature i came for my my evening walk and i was like oh it'd be a nice idea to film outside all right because well this is me okay and we had to get to know each other we can't just be always sitting at the office and in the house and you know we have to we have to get personal okay we have to bring our ghetto out and just let it out okay <laughs> and this is how i look most of the time so anyways um anyway so yeah we're talking about the daniel fast today um and my my the recent one i did and my testimony and this wasn't really my first fast but this is the first time that i've been like intentional and in tracking what has like what happened throughout the fast usually i just fast pray and just move on with my life um because most of the time when i fast i'm not really fasting like for like a new house or like a new car or a job or anything like that usually when i'm fasting it's to get like closer to god so i don't really have like a measuring stick kind of like you know how people fast like you're fast for a car so if at the end of the fast you got a car you know that it worked right <laughs> but for me since it's not really like physical things like that it's it, i just never really thought it was important to kind of think about it or like track it you see what i'm saying um but this time i figured i would share my testimony with you guys so i was very intentional in tracking it so i i noticed a whole lot of stuff right, so let's jump into the different reasons why i did it to so one day um in prayer and this was like towards the end of june going into july so in prayer i just felt led to do it i was already changing kind of the way that i eat um for health reasons like to lose weight and stuff but specifically for the daniel fast my focus wasn't really to lose weight it was kind of like a byproduct that i was looking for but the main thing was like one i felt led to uh to get closer to god right because for a while now like i've been feeling kind of stuck in my relationship with god whereas before i used to be very sensitive to the things of the spirit very sensitive to the voice of the holy spirit um i used to read my bible and get just these deep revela revelations of the word and i just had that Mm, 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 with God and I just wasn't feeling that anymore I just felt kind of st stuck a little stagnant and just kind of dry in my walk with God so when I felt led to do this I, I figured like you know just go ahead and do it for all of these things um so yeah that's why I did it and I like I'm watching my phone so if you guys see me looking down I'm looking at my notes I want to make sure I give you guys everything and then also remember to talk loud because I'm outside and the wind and airplanes airplanes i thought i used to like i used to think i was a good english speaker till i started making videos and then i realized the accent and just the words they don't come together for some reason i don't know what it is i promise y'all i speak english okay anyways <laughs> um there's a whole lot going on around here so yeah that's the reason i did it i just felt kind of calloused um like there was a lot of yuckiness inside of me like i would get really really easily irritated i just i felt yucky that's the best way i can describe it easily irritated my mind was just like always busy like my mind i could never be still oh heck what the heck is that lord you created some stuff anyways and so um i felt really yucky inside easily irritated always overthinking um just everything things were not good like inside of me you know what i'm saying like you just feel gunky like there's trash inside i don't know how to describe it but i, I just felt heavy i felt yucky that's <laughs> i know that's not really a good description but that that's the word i can i can think of and like i said my relationship with god i felt like was at a at a place of stagnancy and just dryness right i was still reading the words still praying but again it just felt like routine that i didn't i wasn't really getting what i was used to um as before so all of that um all of that internal like mess made me kind of also want to do the fast and then the last thing is i was also seeking god for like what was what his plans were for for me and my family me and my husband like for the rest of the year so we were, we've been thinking about some things that i also wanted to commit to him and just hear his voice on and just kind of hear what he also has planned for us for the rest of the year um so those were basically the reasons why um i decided to do the fast and i think i already mentioned like again i was trying to always already trying to be healthy so it wouldn't hurt because i know the first time i did it i lost about like 13 pounds so i'm like well it wouldn't hurt it wouldn't hurt to to do it so yeah let's talk about let's get into like my my testimonies and what what happened on the fast i the first like two or three days like i had so many dreams i had so many dreams it was mind-blowing 
the first two days um i was like i i heard i was waking up most of the vision most of the time when i see visions um it's usually in that state of like you're waking up half asleep half um, half awake that time that's when i usually see and hear things in the spirit the most and so or with the most accuracy i should say my back is hurting anyways and so um i remember the first like i think it was the second or the third day i was waking up and i hear like heavy chains like i didn't see anything i just heard like heavy like those big chains kind of dragging across the floor making noise like just the noise of chains being dragged and so i woke up i was like god what is this like are you i mean is somebody in chain are you trying to like have me pray and deliver somebody and that's the thing though like you never think it's you <laughs> you always think it's like for other people but it was for me it was definitely for me okay i was the one in chain because over the next few days god would literally take me deep deep <laughs> baby deep deep into some stuff that i had forgotten about and didn't even know about like that's anyways let's keep going let me not get distracted and so that was just the first day so i knew like a whole lot of stuff was gonna start happening and then i started dreaming like almost every night for the first like week or so oh i did this for 10 days um for me like i don't know i've done 21 days before but for some reason this time i just did 10 days because i was kind of like winging it um i didn't really prepare like god to told me today and literally the next day i started so i didn't really mentally prepare my hello i'm filming here thank you anyways it's just the birds and stuff making noise it's gonna be part of my video um i've done it for 21 days before but for this time i only did 10 days like i said i was just winging it um because i, I didn't really prepare so yeah the next couple of days like the, that first week i had so many dreams i had so many dreams i had so many dreams and in most of the dreams and let me not say most in all of the dreams god was taking me back to my childhood back to like high school days um and basically digging up things like rejection hurt pain unforgiveness betrayal because i was having dreams of exes that cheated on me like i, and I had one where i had the same dream two days in a row um of an ex that cheated on me um and in the dream they were cheating on me <laughs> um i had dream of this girl that like bullied me and I, I thought I had forgotten about it. You know, that's the thing. Like in life, we just kind of go through things and we think that we've forgiven it because like you forgot about it. Something happened. You maybe cried about it. You moved on. And for you, you forgot about it. But we're not realizing that we're taking hits to the soul. And, you know, so I, again, I forgot about all of this stuff. And But I'm, I'm having dreams and seeing this girl. I'm like, what the heck is she doing in my dreams? Um, I had dreams of just like a whole lot of stuff that happened in my child just things that happened in my childhood that i forgotten about but i guess there were things that i needed to still forgive and things that the holy spirit needed me to address so when i had like the dreams for example about my ex that cheated on me i woke up and i started saying god like i released them i didn't i didn't even realize i was holding this like i'm happily married now and you know moved on with my life but apparently that was something that was still deep in there so um, I woke up and I prayed like Lord I forgive them I release them that type of stuff so when I would have a dream when I wake up I would first I'll be shocked like because most of the stuff I don't remember I don't I remember it happening because I saw the dream but it's not things that I'm actively thinking about so for me like I healed I moved on but no um so yeah for some of us we may be carrying things that you know happen in the past and we never actually stop to deal with them we may have cried over the situation right when it happened but we never took it to god in prayer for god to actually heal the soul that was wounded and so for me during this fast i feel like that was the main thing that god wanted to address and so when i finished the i finished the fast or even after that first week i understood the chains that i had heard like these were chains that i was literally dragging around and without even realizing it so that was that was uh, main, the main thing that happened just like tra things trauma hurt pain bullying things that happened to me in my childhood god literally like dug them all up and started healing me because at the end of the fast like y'all i felt so light like i felt weightless okay and i'm over 200 pounds so that's saying a lot okay i felt weightless i felt light i felt like squeaky clean that's like that that was the word that came to my mind like squeaky clean that's how i felt by the time i finished this fast um 
and I, I, re I also became very sensitive to the spirit. Remember how I was saying that like I felt like stuck in my walk with God, stuck in my relationship with God. Things had become like really routine. Um, so after like the 10 days, I felt so much closer to God. Like I rem like I'm a very sensitive person, even in the things of the spirit. So if I'm like, I could be reading the word and the Holy Spirit could be giving me revelation. I'll be weeping and crying like that. When I first like had my encounter with God that brought me to this place with Christ, um, that's how sensitive I was. And for years, I kind of lost that. And so after this fast, like I remember during the fast, even I was like reading the book of Revelation where it talks about Jesus looking like uh, the Lamb of God and him being slain and him opening the seal. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go read the book of Revelations. And I was just like reading, just like reading. The, I wasn't studying. I wasn't doing just like reading. And I was just weeping over the word, just glorifying God. And for somebody listening, like, OK, so for me, that's a big deal because. I felt like my heart had my heart had been hardened for like years now and so for for me having that experience was like a breakthrough for me like that God has had taken that heart of stone and replaced it with a heart of flesh so that I was sensitive again so I became more sensitive to the presence and the voice of the Holy Spirit like I remember I told you guys that like I'm an overthinker right I'm an overthinker so my it's it's rare for me to um, be still in my mind right because i'm always listening to something i'm always thinking about something and you know that brings anxiety and fear and stuff like that but after this fast y'all like i was so much more sensitive to the spirit i was more still like i could be still like i could be going through life doing things and my mind just be at peace right and so if you're one of, one of those people that suffers with like anxiety and just overthinking and just overwhelming yourself this will be just fasting will be like a great 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 thing for you because I definitely felt breakthrough in that sense um like I said that whole dryness and the things of the spirit has broken off even now like my relationship with God is like is back on 10 we mm, mm, we, we we there we there we, we back there it's good it's good um uh, another thing that happened is I started getting interpretation of old dreams like I'm not gonna tell you all the dream but I had a dream because most of my dreams are usually very uh, prophetic and very like symbolic and so um, most of the time I would ask God for like an understanding and then I'll just move on without usually like waiting for too long for uh, for an answer from God but by God's own grace, he actually gave me um, the explanation and the interpretation of a dream that I had like a long time ago. Um, maybe one day I'll share, I share those, those type of dreams with you. Um, another thing that happened is my social media addiction was broken off. Okay, I was addicted to social media, especially Instagram. And so during the fast, um, I wasn't just fasting for food. So if you don't know, you can fast from other things besides food. So for me, when I started the fast, I hid um, like my Instagram, my Instagram and Facebook and TikTok um, app from my home screen. So you can do that on your phone. You can hide the app. And then I turned off the notifications so that I don't get notifications and you know, the app is not there. So for me to actually look at it, I have to go and search it, like actually do a search. Um, to find it because it's it's no longer on my home screen and even till now like they're not on my home screen and so I again I felt like that literally broke that addiction of social off of me in social media um, that addiction of social media off of me I got distracted again I'm sorry um, off of me to the point that even when I finished the fast like I didn't want to go back to Instagram I didn't want to go back on Facebook like if I wasn't using Instagram and Facebook for business and ministry I would not have gotten back like I would have just deleted my Instagram and just moved on from Facebook and just YouTube because YouTube was literally the only thing that I was um, watching because I was watching like messages and listening to music so um, yeah so I definitely got deliverance from social media um, God gave me business ideas. My husband and I, we have our business in, in Ivory Coast. And so God gave us, gave me a lot of ideas, uh, for business again, which was one of the topics of prayer that I had. Um, and then the other thing, the last thing that I think was major for me was God kind of showing me the root of, well, one of the roots of my issues with food. And I might make like a total different video on this topic because I think it's so important. Um, for a lot of people because um, 
because I think a lot of us struggle with food and we just think that it's just an issue of self-control or you know just addiction yeah that could be it but for me for example God showed me that I have a scarcity mindset like I have this internal fear that food would not be there tomorrow okay and I'm not talking about just general food like the foods that I like right that they won't be there tomorrow so for example if you if you bought me chick-fil-a like I love chick-fil-a right even if I eat half and I'm full I'm gonna force myself to eat the whole thing even though I'm full like I'm gonna force myself to eat the whole thing because I don't want to leave it there right and then tomorrow you know by tomorrow somebody's gonna eat it so it's just just this scarcity mindset and which kind of leads into like greed and selfishness um and so god kind of started digging that up so we started addressing that um and yes and I'm, I'm saying um a lot like i can hear myself saying um a lot so that that was definitely a big thing for me so now like it makes me aware of it i don't think that i'm completely healed or delivered from that yet um i think it's one of those things that it's gonna be a progress right it's gonna be a, a progress but I, I, I love that God gave me that because now I'm, I'm, I'm mindful of it, right? If I'm eating something and I'm full, I know it's going to be there tomorrow. Even if, you know, the Chick-fil-A that you bought today is not there tomorrow, God is going to provide if you really want Chick-fil-A that bad, right? So, he also goes into, here comes the wind again, bruh. Child of God here, doing ministry. Lord Jesus, I speak to the wind to be silent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You heard me? I said in Jesus' name. Amen. Anyways, so yeah, that, that really helped me. Um, um, for the most part, that's it, right? That's it. But God basically dealt with a lot of internal issues. And if you're, again, if you're somebody that kind of has a whole lot going on, your relationship with God is stuck and things like that, I would definitely encourage you to, to try the Daniel fast. And again, something, I, let me tell you guys this, right? I know this mentally but during this fast I learned it here and let me tell you what that was so I started the fast and like I think two or three days later we were supposed to go on vacation right and fasting and vacation are not really mm, are not really that don't really go together because and it's not a vacation that I went on alone I feel like if I if you're alone it's easier to do this these type of stuff but I was I wasn't alone and so I went on vacation you know there's there's all types of food and it's, I try to plan for the vacation but like after the first day I was like nah and so I ended up breaking the fast and normally knowing me I would have been like very hard on myself for breaking that fast like self guilt here comes the sun again self guilt and self condemnation and let me try to turn this thing down for y'all okay self guilt and self condemnation like is like would have been so prevalent like for me uh, under normal circumstances but for some reason I just felt so peaceful like the Holy Spirit didn't convict me in the sense of like telling me not to break the fast um like I felt that God was okay with me doing it I know it doesn't sound spiritual but I felt so released to break the fast for like the two days and then when we came back from vacation because it was just the weekend when we came back from vacation I restarted again and for like that kind of blew my mind because I know we talk about how fasting is not about the food right it's not about the thing that you're putting aside it's about the posture of your heart but for me like knowing me that would have been a big deal like breaking that fast like that would have been I would have felt so horrible but I didn't right I didn't and God continued like to talk to me and to continue to work through with me throughout the whole thing and I was just I was shocked and I was just so grateful and just saw the goodness and the mercy of God so I'm saying all of that to encourage you like if you're one of those people you know you need to fast or you want to fast but you're struggling with like how what if I don't get through it like don't worry about it if you like just start with one day right fast from six to six during six to six six eat like during six from six a.m. to six p.m try to eat like the Daniel fast food right just vegetables and fruits and healthy stuff you know those type of stuff just from six to six right and then do that for one day then try to do it for a week right and then little by little you see that you start to break off you start to break off and then you it will become easier because I know when we think about it mentally of course the enemy doesn't want you to do it so it's gonna make you make it seem like it's a big mountain that you can't overcome honestly it's all about the posture of our hearts and I want us to read this verse um, to kind of talk and talk about that 
um, this is Daniel 12, Daniel 10, verse, uh, I'm going to read 11 and 12. So this is when Daniel was doing his 21 days of fasting, right? And he says, And the man said to me, Daniel, you are very precious to God. So listen carefully to what I have to say to you. Stand up, for I have been sent to you. When he said this to me, I stood up still trembling. Verse 12. This is the one I want us to focus on. Then he said, don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself uh, before your God, your request has been heard in heaven right so daniel prayed for 21 days but the angel of the lord came and told daniel since the first day right your prayer was heard because you humbled yourself so it's all about that heart of humility even if you start fasting and you fall right you end up eating something you're not supposed to eat it doesn't matter just start it keep going keep going like i did again i broke for two days and that's not like me like i'm if i'm if i say i'm fasting and I either break completely and just stop fasting completely or just go all the way through but I'm not the type to usually like stop in the middle of the fast and then continue so for, for me to be able to do this and feel like God wasn't like mad at me about it and God just continued to love on me and let me know that it was okay like for me that was a big deal and it was such a great like a great blessing for me so I want to encourage you with that right it's all about the posture of your heart because you can deny yourself food for 40 days but if your heart is prideful if you're just distracted doing other stuff that's that's not fasting right it's about the posture of your heart and if you commit it to God he's gonna help you right those food that you think you can't live without believe me you can live without them because that's one thing that happens when we think about fasting you think about these foods that you like that you eat every day and you think about denying yourself of those foods and you think oh my gosh how am I gonna live live without my coffee how am I gonna live without my cake or my my bread or stuff like that like and that was me like I have this ginger tea um, that has sugar in it that I add to everything I add it to my tea I add it to my oatmeal and that's like my sugar for everything and I, I used to drink it every morning and so when I thought about doing the fast I was like so I had to give that up <laughs> cricket cricket um, and I was able to do it by God's grace to this day like today and it's been like over a month over two months now right that no one month that I've 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 gone without it and it's you literally today the day i'm filming this video that i actually drunk that tea again to the point i forgot that the tea was there and this is the tea that i thought like i couldn't do the i couldn't i wouldn't do the fast because of this specific tea all right and white rice i'm african i'm ivorian everything we eat is soup and rice fried rice uh, all types of every way you can think of cooking rice <laughs> we eat it and that's like our daily meal so for me to like think about giving up white rice that was really hard but then like i just we went through i just now like I have to force my like I eat rice if I can't find anything else to eat like it's not mm. and that's saying a whole lot if you know Africans that's saying like I went without white rice and I can go without white rice that's saying a whole lot um it did help the, that I could eat plantains because that's like that's up there that's that's why I can't do the keto diet because I love plantains too much to do the keto diet I don't know let me let me come back so <laughs> it's about the posture of your heart okay it's about being humble friend it's about being humble so that's it I'm gonna make another video to go a little more a little more in detail about the type of foods that I ate to help you guys because this video is already like probably over 20 minutes um so I'm gonna make another video and then if there's anything else that you guys like have questions about or want me to talk about talk about if you want me to do like a study on fasting we can do that as well I may actually but um, for this fast this was it it was it was a great blessing I really enjoyed it like I, I'm definitely gonna do it more often like I said like at the end of it I didn't even want to stop but you know life happens so anyways that is it um, this is your 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 reminder it's not what is the word like this is I can't think of the word but this is your video to tell you basically you need to fast okay if this came up on your timeline go fast and if you're googling or YouTubing you know Daniel fast you're probably already thinking about it go ahead and do it okay don't be too hard on yourself submit your heart to God and just ask God to help you and when you fall just get up and keep going keep praying um, and yeah that's it I love you guys and I hope uh, you guys enjoyed this video God bless you I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, okay? Let's get to know each other. I need more YouTube friends. God bless you guys. Love you. Mwah.